What's going on, everybody? We got a 2010 Chevy Equinox. Main code we're concerned about is this P0171, fuel trim, lean. Other codes have been set from people uh, and myself unplugging things. But I want to show you something on the fuel trims here. We go to the data display, and we can go to fuel trim data. And as you see here, our long-term average is 31%. That's a bit on the high side, right? I looked at this vehicle a couple days ago, didn't have enough time to get involved with it much, but this mass airflow sensor reading was way low. Somebody else had put two mass airflow sensors on it. A bunch of stuff's been going on here. But today, this mass airflow sensor reading is okay, so I'm kind of interested in that. But check this out. We go and just look at our uh, short-term and long-term fuel trim. You can see we're at 31%. And I was just thinking, what, what would be going on here to cause um, this thing to be running lean? I sprayed it real quick for vacuum leaks the other day, and I finally got a chance to get back to come take a look. And I was thinking, well, maybe I'll try that purge valve. And sure enough, I unplugged this purge valve, and we're sucking wind. I don't know if you can hear it, but watch what happens if I plug this up. You can watch our fuel trims here. You see we're starting to go negative, negative short term. So we're getting back to normal here. So that's pretty good. That's looking pretty sweet. So knowing that the purge valve is bad, it's leaking, I unplugged it. I flat out unplugged it, and it's still leaking vacuum. We still have a big vacuum leak. I also want to check to make sure that the computer can control this valve. You don't want to hang it apart without knowing if you have proper computer control of it or do a partway diagnosis or repair. So using our PicoScope here, you can see that the computer is commanding this thing. Let's go ahead up to the 50 volt scale, yeah, 100 volt scale. Let's go 100 volts. So we are leaking that vacuum, but I want to plug this back in so it's not leaking as bad. Keep on going. And I'm going to throw a little more time on the board here. So let's make sure that our scan tool can control this solenoid which would mean that the computer has the capability of controlling that solenoid. So we're going back into control functions and EVAP system. We're going to go purge solenoid. And right now, we can be at our commanded state's zero. Let's take a look at what we have on the scope. And you can see the scope went to zero, flat line on the control side. Let's go ahead and increase this all the way up to ramp it up to 100 and back down and then we'll release the control hit back and go back to our scope and if I hit the stop button and back to our first waveform you can tell right here is where we ramped it up We ramped it up and back down, so you can actually see, if we zoom in real tight, you'll be able to see the, uh, the modulation, the on time getting more and more. So at this point, we're going to get a purge valve on here and then see what happens. Guys, appreciate you watching. Watch out. March 1st, I'm going to have some basic electrical classes available uh, online that are going to be paid style uh, subscription courses where you can actually get on there, take quizzes and tests, and learn something. So. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.